another Dollar Tree haul today and um, I wanted to check out all of the Easter stuff that they had. I haven't been since they have had the Easter stuff out and I wanted to like get first picks because I know that the Easter stuff goes really, really fast. So I actually went to a different Dollar Tree than I normally go to. I kind of usually keep going to the same, um, sorry, I keep going to the same Dollar Tree pretty much all the time. Um, sometimes I go to another Dollar Tree that's actually just about the same distance away. I'm just on the other side of town. And um, so I wanted to check out that one today. So I did, I went there and they had a bunch of stuff out for Easter. So I'm gonna do a quick haul and show you what I got. Also, I wanna show you kind of just what I have on today. Um, so I have on the Perfect Tea, it's the LuLaRoe Perfect Tea, and it's in like a really pretty navy blue color, and it's got like these like blue and pink um, little designs all over it, and this one is like really like nice fitting like up through the top, but then it's like really loose. So if you have a belly like me, um, it covers your belly very nicely. And then I just have some leggings on, I'm actually doing some pattern mixing. So I've got some like lighter colored leggings on. These leggings have like pink and blue in them. So the leggings are like a, a floral color and then my top is like, a, they match but they don't match which is called pattern mixing which I'm gonna be talking to you guys in another video about pattern mixing but um, yeah, then I just have some boots on and like I said, I am living in LuLaRoe. I'm loving this stuff. It's literally the most comfortable clothing I've ever, ever owned. So, um, with that being said, Jameson's crawling around right here. Um, let's show you what we got from the Dollar Tree because I got a lot of really good stuff. I'm actually going to first start with some more of these bins. So my office slash studio room is coming along. I have my um, table that's in the center of the room pretty much all put together. Um, I have my counter area done that has a few like cabinets and a shelf above it. Um, so I'm actually putting all of my bins in all of like the cubbies that I have and I just didn't have enough so I needed to go buy more and I've actually been to two different Dollar Trees and neither of them had the blue color that I had wanted. So what I decided was to just mix up the colors a little bit. So I picked this like raspberry color. I picked this raspberry color which I really like. This was actually my second choice so I ended up getting four of these smaller um, these shorter bins with the pretty design on the side. So I've got four of those. And then I got six of these basket style bins, which I have quite a few of these in blue. So I'm just gonna mix them up. Um, and so yeah, so I got those. I ended up taking, buying what they had left of, the, of this color as well, because these were like the two popular colors that are completely like sold out. Then I bought, let's see, these are like a staple. I buy these pretty much every time I go to the Dollar Tree. I have another project coming up for Easter that I'm going to be using these in. So I bought two of these little glass candle holders. I bought two of these glass plates. And these are going to go along with that DIY that I was just showing you, or the, the other glass pieces. Um, it's going to be in a di different DIY. Um, this one will probably be coming up in the beginning of February, I'm thinking. So I'll be doing that then. But that's going to be an Easter DIY. Then I bought a ton of floral. I'm going to show you, I guess I'll show you most all of it. First I'm going to show you the ribbon because I grabbed a few of the different ribbons that they had for Easter. Um, I grabbed two of these purple sparkly wired ribbons and it's the two and a half inch ribbon that's three yards or nine feet long. So I grabbed two of those. I grabbed the pink ribbon which is just like it, the wired pink ribbon. And then I grabbed this really cute Easter egg ribbon which has got all the different color Easter eggs on it. 
Then, let's show some of the floral that I got because I thought that their spring floral was really, really pretty. So I grabbed a bunch of floral. So first off, I grabbed some of these purple roses. I have not seen the purple roses there before and they're like a really soft, pretty like purple. They've got like a little hint of pink in the leaves. So I grabbed just one of those. I grabbed this pick of petunias and it's like a light purple with a dark purple petunia. So I grabbed one pick of those. I grabbed a pick of peonies and they're the light pink peonies which I have some really nice um, faux peonies that I have packed up downstairs which will look really nice with these because these ones are a little bit darker than the ones I have. I have more of like a pale pink color that I can use um, so I grabbed a pick of those. I also grabbed two of these lavender sprays and they're, I've not seen these there before either. So these are just these really pretty like soft green um, leaves with the little white and the purple for the lavender. So I ended up grabbing two of these only because I have not seen these there before and I really liked those. Um, I also grabbed um, a, a spray of this pink cattail. And I have not seen this there before either, so I really like that. And I'm loving like the pinks and purples this season for spring. So I grabbed one of those. I grabbed two of these. Um, these are a different form of the cattail. They're like a little fuzzy purple, fuzzy purple piece at the top here. Um, so I grabbed two of these because I really, like I said, I love that like soft color purple. Grabbed two of those. Then I grabbed some of these long stems. So I grabbed three, I think I grabbed three, yes. No, two maybe, two. I grabbed two pussy willows, which are really, really long, long stemmed pussy willows. And the pussy willows are like really like pastel green color. Got two of those. And I got three of these dogwood stems which these are really pretty and they have the dark brown centers. They had a bunch of these um, that didn't have the dark brown, but I thought the dark brown looked more realistic. And they I actually, they only had three of them. So I grabbed the three that they had. So I grabbed those. Um, then I also grabbed a few other things, a few other floral type pieces. Um, for St. Patty's Day, because I don't do a whole lot of decorating for St. Patty's Day. Um, I usually do something, like maybe some sort of like small little arrangement or maybe something on my dining room table, but I don't really go all out for St. Patty's Day. Um, I used to do a little bit more when Alyssa was younger because we used to make leprechaun traps, which I probably should for Jameson this year, although he's still a little bit young. I might wait till next year and do that with him. Um, but I did have a viewer wanting to see like some sort of a lep leprechaun, some sort of a um, St. Patty's Day DIY. So I decided to pick up a few things um, that I might be able to put together for a St. Patty's Day project. So I grabbed two of these, um, they're the green carnations with the gold on the, um, the flower and they have these little gold coins stuck into the pick itself. So I ended up grabbing two of those. I also grabbed two packages of these coins right here. And there's 50 coins in a packet. So I grabbed two of those and I kind of have an idea of something that I want to do for this project, but I will figure it out as I go along, I'm sure. And then while I was in the St. Patty's Day area, I saw these and I figured these are such an easy way to like spruce up um, like your p existing pillows on like your sofa or love seat that I grabbed two of these scarfs and they were again a dollar a piece and they're just like a simple scarf and you can actually use these scarfs. If you go to my Facebook page, I did a small little video on my Facebook um, that just shows you how you can use a scarf to um, change the look of your existing pillows on your sofa. So I grabbed two of these for that. 
And then, um, oh, this is another like Easter type of thing. Um, they had these little cute ceramic Easter bunny rabbits. And I grabbed two of them. Um, I'm not gonna be using the paints. I'm literally gonna take the little ceramic bunny rabbit out and do something different with it. But I ended up grabbing two of those. And then, this is, the next item that I'm gonna show you is going to be for a project that I think is gonna be a two-part project because it's gonna be fairly good size and um, I think I'm gonna split it up into two separate videos because it's gonna take a long time to do. Um, I ended up getting 12 of these three and a half by five inch, actually they're five by seven frames. I think they're five by seven frames, but the three and a half by five inch um, picture in the center. Um, but I ended up grabbing 12 of them because I'm gonna need 12 for one specific project that I'm gonna do. And that project is coming up in another couple weeks, I think. Um, so be on the lookout for that. So I, I grabbed all of those. Then I grabbed two more things. Um, I've actually, I have two of these items already, but I ended up grabbing two more because they didn't come from the Dollar Tree, they came from Hobby Lobby. Um, but I ended up grabbing two more of these glass vases and they are, I think they were the six inch, I think it's a six inch diameter um, glass vase. And so I ended up grabbing two of these because I'm going to be using these in another project. Um, these are $5 a piece, which still isn't bad, I don't think, for the size. Um, they have smaller ones, which you could use the smaller ones. I actually like the larger because for what I'm going to do um, in these, I think I need more room than the smaller size. And I didn't want to go bigger because I think that would have been too big. So this is just the right size. Um, Dollar Tree has some vases that are a little bit smaller than this. Um, they, they're the round style ones, which you could use. Um, very similar to the, like the one that I did, I have it right here. Very similar to this, but without the lip on the top. So I suppose you could use this one as well, but again, it's still a little bit small. And so I wanted to do something that was a little bit bigger. Um, so that is it guys that I got um, at the Dollar Tree today. Um, I think all in all I spent at the Dollar Tree about $55, somewhere around there. Um, usually that's about what I spend and out of that $55, um, no, I'm not going to include all of my bins that I got because actually I got ten dollars $10 worth of that was for my storage bins so I'm gonna say $45 so all in all for about $45 I am going to have one two three four five maybe six DIY projects that is that's gonna come out of that $45 so in on average that's about how much I spend like per month um, people have, people ask me, you know, oh, how much do you spend at the Dollar Tree? Seems like you're there all the time, which I am there all the time. Um, but I feel like I don't like, I, I usually go once, pretty much like once a month and grab like a bunch of stuff that I'm going to need for that month that I have planned for like projects. And then if there's like little things here and there that I need to get, I will go back and like pick up the little things here and there, but I don't like usually spend like a large amount of money every time I go. Um, so that's about on average what I spend between 55 and I would say 45 and $55 a month is about what I spend. Um, but if you figure out, I mean, a lantern, I mean, you can spend 50, 75, even $100 on a lantern and, you know, it's going to cost you five or six dollars to make it at the Dollar Tree. So it's definitely worth it, I feel. 
So anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed this little um, Dollar Tree haul. Um, again, I want to just remind you all to make sure that you um, check out my Facebook page because I have the I have two live events coming up. One is on the 24th, which is my fourth Tuesday of the month. I do a live Facebook chat, and that's just basic chat. Um, I'm going to try to be doing like kind of different themes every time we do that live event. Um, this time I'm going to be doing like some giveaways. Um, but it's basically just a get to know you kind of chat. I know I have a lot of new followers and so I would really love to chat with you guys per more personally and you know, you guys can ask me questions about whatever. Um, so it's just like an hour long chat session basically um, on my Facebook page. And again, that's the fourth Tuesday of every month and the next one coming up is going to be on the 24th. So I will be having that event. Um, so if you would like to attend that event, make sure you go to my Facebook page and respond to the in, um, respond to the event so that I know how many people are going to be there. Um, my second event is my larger event, and that is going to be my um, introductory LuLaRoe event. And that is going to be on Saturday the 28th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that is going to be... Um, we're going to do a lot of fun stuff. You're going to be seeing all of the different LuLaRoe styles. You're going to be seeing, um, Alyssa's actually going to model live, um, some of her, or some of the pieces put together in outfits. Um, you're going to be able to ask questions about different things. You're going to be able to find out about sizing. Um, there will not be any purchasing at this event. Um, I do not have an inventory of items yet. I am waiting for that. It takes quite a while to get an inventory in. Um, I will have a full inventory in um, in about six weeks, I'm thinking. Maybe even a little less. I don't know. Five to six weeks, I'm thinking. Um, so I will have a full inventory, and as soon as I have a full inventory, I am going to be offering um, those items to my viewers exclusively. So there will be a special VIP group ex exclusive for my viewers. Um, so if you want to find out more information about the live event on the 28th, again, go to my Facebook page and check out the event section and make sure you respond um, that you're coming to that event. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm giving away a lot of prizes. We have leggings that we're going to be giving away. We have all kinds of other stuff. We have um, coupons that we're going to give away. We're going to give away some Lula cash, which you can use towards your first purchases um, from me when we actually get our inventory in you're going to be able to, we have other prizes as well. We have a bunch of stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to play some games. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So you definitely do not want to miss it. Um, so I think that is just about it, guys. I know I'm rambling on and on here, <laughs> but a lot of information to get out to you guys. So I hope you guys have a great Tuesday afternoon. We will see you on Thursday for the next DIY video. But until then, I want you to have a great rest of your day and we will see you soon. Take care.